فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا I want to also make mention of a beautiful sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa as we welcome Ramadan. We have in this country a gift of Allah whereby we can see the moon with our eyes. There are some countries where they cannot do that because of their weather conditions. Always, you know, overcast and sometimes snow and sometimes anything else, they cannot see the moon. We are fortunate we can. So I want to teach you something very, very great. It's important for us to know the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad is to search for the moon, to search for it. When? The 29th of the lunar month. The 29th. Remember to revive the sunnah. We love Muhammad He taught us to go out and do something known as the harri. Try hard to see the moon. It's a sunnah. Imagine I just have to look and I'm achieving a reward. I just have to look. I got to search. And I'm achieving a reward. You know why I'm saying this? Many of us say, yeah, well, we do. No, we don't. A lot of us, when we know that the hours after the birth of the moon are too little for the moon to be sighted by the naked eye, we cut out the sunnah. We know it's the 29th. But we say, nah, it's not really going to be visible. Just leave it, you know, just leave it. That's wrong. Even if the moon born, not born, one hour, five hours, ten hours, just fulfill the sunnah. Fulfill the sunnah of searching. It's the 29th. I tell you why we need to revive the sunnah. Do not ever be the cause of the killing of a sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Don't. Revive it. Go and search for it. You will be surprised. I want to teach you something else. If Allah wants, He can show you that moon. We believe in the power of Allah. We believe in miracles. We all believe in miracles. If He wants, He can show the whole community something. And the rest of the world will learn a lesson from it. It has happened in communities and societies. It has. There was a time when people said, this moon is 11 hours. There's no chance that anyone's going to see it. And I remember I said, look, let's say that from a scientific perspective, the chances are almost nil. Where did properly? But don't say there's no chance because that moon doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Allah. When Muhammad says, search for it, just search for it. That's all. That's it. And don't be like the old man at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu when they were all searching for the moon and only one man says, hey, I see the moon. So Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu looks at him and smiles and he says, wipe your eyes. So he wiped his eyes. He says, right now, look again. Do you see it? He says, no, I don't. So he says a beautiful word in the Arabic language. One of the gray hairs from your eyebrows was probably coming down. It looked like a moon in front of your eye. So now that you wiped your eye, it's not there anymore. But doesn't that show us that it's a sunnah to search for the moon? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all.